Hello, space friends, Captain Snuggles here. I'm back at the helm in Jumplight Odyssey, and I am feeling unusually pessimistic. We are on a new patch, Beta 0.2, and I do not like it. The developers had the absolute audacity to call this a major content update, despite adding zero new content, uh, and if anything, they reduced the amount of playable content. They even named the update uh, A Dangerous Galaxy, which is absolutely insane, and I will tell you why in a minute. But first, I want to be clear, I don't like making this video. The devs are cool people who love this game and worked hard on this patch, but I really think they missed the mark. And I don't think I'm doing my job as an early access customer if I don't playtest the patch and give them feedback. And on top of that, I don't think I'm doing my job to my 33 subscribers if I don't share my results here. So with that, here is the rundown. The developers are trying to hand people some free wins to get their Steam ratings up, and they're also trying to lay a very low difficulty foundation on which to add some actual content later. But I think that foundation is very, very weak, because based on what I've seen so far, this patch is designed to punish ambition and reward passivity. The way that works is changes to crew AI and to resource availability make it very slow and very frustrating to try to accomplish anything big and exciting. But at the same time, the difficulty uh, otherwise has been reduced to basically zero. So it seems like we're supposed to just think small, play passively, and sort of coast through to the Forever Star. And that's what it seems like. That's my hypothesis. I want to test that hypothesis, though. So here we are with this run. I'm going to force myself to play extremely passively by restricting myself to just three orders per system. I can still fiddle with the UI, uh, I can still toggle power and doors and, and things like that, but I can only order the crew to do three things in each system that we jump to. Uh, if things go the way I think they're going to go, in the final regions I'm hoping to even reduce that number down to two and then to one. Now the exception to all that is going to be bug fixes, because this patch is sadly extremely buggy and working around some of those bugs may take a lot of orders, but otherwise I'm hoping to stick to just three orders per system. And for your reference, I expect that to equal out to roughly one order per five minutes, which is basically nothing. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know there's no way this would have worked in the last patch. And moreover, uh, if you play RimWorld or FTL or any of the other games that JLO draws inspiration from, uh, you know that that level of passive play is really unthinkable in this genre. But here in Beta 0.2, it really seems like we cannot lose as long as we don't try to do anything interesting. I really hope I'm wrong. But if I succeed in this run, it does mean that, unfortunately, this patch is steering the game in a direction that I think is going to ultimately be really negative. So again, I hope I'm wrong. If you're excited for Jump Light Odyssey, cross your fingers and pray for me to fail. So on that happy note, let's get into it. I'm going to start up a new game. It's going to be just the standard Euphora's Odyssey. I am, of course, going to skip the tutorial. And let's get in here. I have not planned this out at all, really. Uh, I'm familiar with a few of the, well, most of the changes that they have made uh, and how that sort of looks uh, on board the ship. But. I'm not sure exactly how this run is going to go, so let's find out. First off... There we go. We'll get that on there, just so I can 
keep track of what orders I've given. And let's get into it. You've seen this stage of the game in several of my previous runs, so I'm not going to spend too much time explaining what I'm doing. But over the course of these first couple of systems, you will start to see what I mean by issuing orders. So, in this first system, we do now have... Oh, I got a bad roll on the contact with the Zootopans, but I think that'll be fine. We do have a pre-scouted salvage opportunity. So issuing this, uh, this mission will count as an order, but things like assigning a shuttle crew, um, because that doesn't actually make anyone do anything yet, that will not count as an order. I want this guy on there. Here we go. All right, so there is one order issued. There we go. All right, let's see what else we do. We'll get rid of this robot charging station. Get ourselves a few more composites. My goal right now is just to get enough composites to start adding... Um, Bit more jump light projectors in particular onto the ship. Let's see, we will also eventually need to add some water. Because now we have to start with a bunch of water tanks and no actual water production. So toggling those alerts also, uh, by my reckoning, does not count as issuing, issuing an order. It slightly changes what the crew does and how they behave. It's not actually telling them to do anything in particular. Now then... This is going to be interesting right here. The priority orders. I didn't really think about this, but I guess it does say orders here, and so I'll, I will count these as orders. But things like sealing off the back part of the ship to keep my idiot crew members from going through there. That will not be in order. Alright, now then, we deconstructed that robot charging station, which means we're up to two orders issued, and I have one left for the system. What will it be? Let's see. Probably, for right now, let's see. Toggling that is not an order. I would like to try to extend my corridors out and get the power running all the way through this deck. So I'm going to do that. This does take more than one click to, to expand this room in this way, but it is technically just one sort of expansion. Uh, of the room. Ooh, except... I think probably building doors to, to give access to these turbo lifts will each count as an order, so I cannot expand this room out all the way here. Interesting. All right. Engineers to your assignments. And that is the three. So that is all I can do in this system. Which means I can speed it up and uh, that you, the viewer, also can uh, speed up the video if you want to. Because, well, and believe it or not, this sort of, uh, this do-nothing run is not going to be very exciting, but it should at least be informative, I hope. Let's find our next system. This one looks good. Maybe 
will want more algae and some food over here. It's probably the next priority. Yeah, Zootopian's imminent. Doesn't really matter. Initiate Moving on. Drive. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. missions. Let's pause here and update our uh, our counter. All right, we have three orders available once again. What are we going to do here? We have enough composites. Let's go ahead and get a new jump flight calibrator. We can clear that debris and build the calibrator with just one a rebuild all destroyed order, which is convenient. So we'll go ahead and get that going, because the faster we can jump, the faster we can issue orders. Now then, just a moment to take stock of what's, uh, what's going on around here. I am, of course, trying to figure out what I want my next priority to be. Well, I think that I can update my counter once again. Very exciting stuff, I know. Hopefully I will, uh, hopefully I will keep, keep up with the counter there. I'm not totally used to toggling back and forth between OBS and a game like this, so, uh, so we'll just see. But let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Probably smart to go ahead and start getting more algae while I can. Why don't I hmm. plan this out pretty carefully? Yeah. Almost issued one extra order already. There we go. That is one algae bed and one new room. And, uh, well, that's it. That is all the orders. So let's speed her up. And keep on going. We'll head for this system next, probably spend one order uh, snatching up some biomass and produce, maybe even two orders. It's going to take us a little while to get our uh, greenhouse going. This is going to be so sad if this works. Man, oh man, this is going to be sad. go. Calibrator's up and running. Because I'll be sending relatively few shuttle missions, I can reassign some of my combat people to seconds, which again will not, does not act, actually involve any orders, so should be fine there.
buttons do here. Engineering and supply will both also be reasonably useful. There we go. Okay. Let's bring that star a little closer, Moving on. shall we? Punch it. Sequence initiate in five, four, three, two, one. Back to zero orders given. So let's see. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of resource extraction missions. Let's see, why don't we use the old auto assign here? Except I'd really. Let's not use the old auto assign because I would like to have a supplier for more more stuff. Alright, there's one order. Report to your assignments. Oops. And... Jeez. Cash in two orders for those missions. It'll be pretty helpful in the short term. See that beacon next. Let's see, that brings us to two orders. Then, what else? Let's go ahead and add power to our new greenhouse. Start gradually chipping away at this room bit by bit. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignments. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all three. Speed it up again. In the fairly new near future, I'm going to need to start working on a little bit of water production, although we can also get water from missions. It's not that important. Um. Then what else? Water production and more composites so we can get more jump light. They're absolutely chewing through these meals. Which is fine. We're working on. Okay, great. What do we get? Oh, nice. 24 more produce. Perfect. The other one. This is genuinely pretty nice here. The constant reminders of the empty observation rooms. It's not the best. Ooh, very nice. But the instant offloading of shuttles is, is quite nice. Okay. Ship the jump light. Hold on, everyone. Nice. Jump light. Lots of biomass now. Decent four, amount of produce. Three, two, one. Okay, now let me see what we have available here. We could do a survey and go for more composites. We could wait one system. Ooh, but 
We're gonna need a jump light cartridge to get from Dina to EB uh, from six, which means, yeah, I should go ahead and go for a salvage mission here. Yep. Survey. Drop the crew. Do not need a brand new supplier on there. Yeah. So like combat. Okay. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Set that out. So, it's one order in this new system. We need to hold one order in reserve for that salvage mission. Assuming we get one back, which we should. This one, I'm going to go ahead and add oxygen to this greenhouse. I think we need oxygen, even though there are a bunch of plants in the room. Not actually sure. I guess one wasted uh, wasted order isn't gonna make or break this run. Hopefully. So there's that. Get that going. Now then, go ahead and change that. Order's given two. Perfect. All right. It's probably worth uh, me talking about what exactly makes this new patch so silly, huh? In theory. So first off. Uh, power output of everything has been doubled, so nukes now give 200, which is a massive change. Uh, in addition, power consumption of a, a lot of different things has been drastically reduced, so advanced energy panel I believe used to take 15, now it takes 5, a bunch of other things take a lot less as well. So dramatic increase in power uh, production, dramatic decrease in power consumption, basically just trivializes power. Something fairly similar has happened with water. Uh, that being said, they have inexplicably deleted all of the internal water and power storage from the Catalina, so we're left with <laughs> uh, a lot less wiggle room in terms of storage. It's a lot more of a, it's a, lot more of a pain to actually move uh, power stations and whatnot. Uh, around the ship because you have to account for uh, for always have having to have batteries and, uh, and water tanks and whatnot, uh, and so it's <laughs> it's it's very very strange. Uh, power and water are easier to make, but just more more of a pain in the butt to customize is essentially what it boils down to, and that general theme is sort of echoed throughout the patch, where things are a lot easier, but a lot more cumbersome. If I have a chance, I'll show you some of the changes in crew AI as well, but with as... Um, with as passively as I'm going to be playing, I don't know how much we're going to get to see. I'll do my best. I'll keep an eye on the crew members. There's this new... Uh, this new feature right here, waiting for uh, waiting for X, Y, or Z uh, service. And so, you know, they'll... <laughs> and crew members will line up sometimes uh, in, in really excessive quantities, waiting for things to, to become available. Of course, when they're in line, they're not working. And obviously, just one person waiting for a shower isn't going to make or break the run, but uh, 20 people waiting for five different things across the ship, well, uh, that slows things down a lot. So once again, just making things more cumbersome. All right. Nice. This is very nice. Okay. Jump. Let me 
go. Three orders given. I'm gonna hit this intermediate system just to make sure that I uh, that I can get my jump light calibrator built. Or not calibrator, the um, cartridge. That's what it's called. But once again, we filled all three orders, and we're just waiting for them to complete before we jump. So I'm speeding it up again. Let's watch what happens. This intermediate system instead, so I have the range to do it. Okay, Raiders, that was a success. Initiate. Let's jump. Let's take a look at that spacecraft. Nice, very nice. Should be able to build a cartridge. Go ahead and get that cartridge built. Put it back here. All right, there we go. one order. Now then, produce is going to start to be an issue if I'm not careful, so I will go ahead and add my expanded seed bank to this room. That'll be order number two. Engineers to your assignment. Right, that leaves us some time. So what else? Hmm. Could just expand this water room here out, which in one order would deconstruct this reactor and give us space to build some water production. That uh, that actually seems kind of nice. Why don't I go ahead and do that? The question is whether I do both reactors at once. I kind of think the answer is yes, question mark? Might be worth it just to get the resources refunded. Hmm. What do we get back for this one composite? I kind of like having that reactor there as uh, as backup, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Engineers to your assignment. I was thinking about sending out a mission instead. I think it's going to be a little bit better to keep laying the groundwork on the ship here. So I guess that's three orders. <laughs> Means speeding up again. Next system. Spend at least one order. Uh, continuing work on this greenhouse. 
Maybe more than one. Anybody help? Nope. Okay. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it! Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Zero orders. All right. Might be worth going ahead and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do another survey here. We have better mission speed. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Send that out. Should be one. Then we build a grow light in here. Be number two. Then, the actual salvage mission will be number three. What do you have to say? Don't care. Alright, so as you can see, we're totally fine just with one nuclear reactor going. And even though we have exactly zero water production on the ship, we're still doing fine just with the storage that we have, and so really water and, and power are just totally trivialized in this patch. Let's go back. Oh, nice. 15 composites. Heck yeah. Let's send these guys out for sure. Do have anybody with a good call sign? Gamble on that 70%. We're gonna fail eventually. That'll be unpleasant. We're okay for now. Alright, and that is work three. There we go. Might as well go ahead and assign a crew member that's fighter since it doesn't take anything. Well, this very sleepy looking guy works. Wouldn't be bad to start working on some recreation options for the crew as well. What's the best way of doing that? Probably expanding out this room, maybe? To cover all the other ones? Maybe this room. This one, there's more space. Lots of options. Nice. Okay. So, let's see, next system we can build another jump light calibrator to speed up even more and also work a little bit on crops since uh, produce is really ticking down okay, you saw our, uh, our isolation it increased uh, very briefly but then crew members stop all the time to chat with each other now you, you saw it happening right there, there we go they'll really sort of the ball up in the hallways. Uh, and, and sort of stop and do nothing and just chat. And fill their isolation that way. So there's not that much need, need for recreation opportunities now. Now that I think about it, I may hold off until until I actually need a card table and chess sets and whatnot. Alright, 
right, we have entered the mineral ring. And the priority here is just going to be getting through um, system to system and not getting blasted by asteroids. Asteroids are not that big of a threat, but I'd rather not risk it. So there's one more calibrator. Right, the the pig is showing up. To uh, so eat my food. All right, so that was one order given. Which one of these crops is better? Let's see. I'm going to go for rice. It depends a little bit less on crew, which is good. I'm going to put down two of them. Just use up all my available orders. Might as well get it going. And there we go. That's three orders. And so once again, I am speeding up. Now there are some nasty bugs that will prevent things from getting built, but hopefully I'm building few enough, uh, few enough things. We can also turn this thing off. Do not need metagel. Hopefully I'm building few enough things and slowly enough that we won't get clobbered by any of those bugs. <laughs> Fingers crossed on that one. See, next system it's probably worth cashing in two actions, uh, two orders, to get a few more composites in with a salvage mission. Maybe the last one on a uh, on some water creation, water condenser. Initiate jump light drive. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, this is a non asteroid field, which is pretty rare in these parts, so I am going to go ahead and take this opportunity. To try and get some more salvage. We'll just get more composites. So we can build something. Alright, there's the dumb pig. Yeah, yeah. You know, I shouldn't call him dumb. Ham might actually be helpful here. Just to, to continue keeping the crew's spirits up. Um, without us really having to do that much. Hopefully. Uh, right, and we're in a new system, so given one order already. I'm gonna hold out in case there happen to be two, uh, two, two salvage opportunities here. Not gonna issue another order yet. I'm gonna target that asteroid field. We are out of produce. That's okay. Should improve soon with those rice crops coming in. Hopefully. The issues are starting to pile up. So that's not great. But still only one person in each condition so far, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Only have one salvage opportunity. It's a pretty good one. So let's send those guys out. I am going to get just my one, uh, my one water condenser in here with my last order. Might as well go ahead and start that going. 
I'm gonna put multiple down just to see how many I can make. Okay, I can make four in that back row. Cool. I'm only gonna order one. Okay. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignment. And it's gonna bring us to three orders given. And y'all know what that means. We are speeding up. Ready to jump already. Bring that mission out still. We can actually go here instead. Nice. Let's do that. Jump as far as we can. Okay, good. We're getting some produce in. Cool. Cool. I'm going to need to add more water production in here next jump, for sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, that mission is back. Still don't have... Nah, incomplete. That's something they added, which is honestly pretty annoying. We got partial results back, which is... It, it's interesting, I guess. But it does happen a lot. That's all right. It's a little something for us. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. All right, went back to zero orders given. Now, how about... This time we'll just work on resources, give the shuttle crews a rest, add two water condensers, and one more thing of rice. And there we go, that's the that's the three orders. speeding up again. Keep my out for bugs. I uh, in my first run this patch, my crew just stopped building water condensers. Um, water is so silly now that it still doesn't cause me any major problems, but uh, it might uh, on this run. Keep an eye on it. And should probably pick a destination. Get an asteroid coming up. Alright. That's fine. Get a red alert. Duh, please shoot them down. Nice. I also think they've changed her at accuracy. Yep. They've definitely changed her at accuracy. Blast at those bad boys right out of the sky. Alert level green. Cool. We're safe. For now. Now then. See how the water consumption changes. After these changes that we've made. Um I wouldn't mind making some changes here, maybe getting a little bit more hygiene available, a little bit more sleep available, but right now we're okay. What are you up to, Chris? Taking deep breaths. You take those deep breaths, man. Alright, well, we're speeding up. Finger on the trigger here. In case we get more asteroids. Hanging 
ねあどはい。Scenery is still pretty great. Nice, perfect success. What did we get back? 280 water. Very nice. Surprised this robot's still going. I deconstructed his, uh, his charging station a while ago. Yeah, his battery's empty. Oh. It could still operate? Jeez. Even with an empty battery, the robot can still operate. Hmm, cool. Hey, nice. Got more hope for getting uh, getting ham and shower. Cool. Very cool. All right. Hopefully, ham can can help out with the isolation issue. Keep an eye on it. Probably need to bite the bullet here soon and make some recreation facilities, maybe. Maybe. Come on, jump legs. There we go. Initiate jump light drive. Jump light. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to zero orders. I would love to make some short hops between systems. And I think we can probably afford to do that. Just so we can get a few more orders completed. 
Uh, let's see. This time, could still use more composites. So I am going to cash in a couple of missions. A couple of orders. To try and get another salvage operation. Complete. So that's going to be one. Order given. Definitely not keeping pace with our demand for produce. Still okay on biomass. I'm gonna add one more rice. Actually, no. If there is only one salvage opportunity, I will add one more rice as my third order. If there are two salvage opportunities by some miracle, then I'm going to instead well, do both salvage opportunities. Surprise, surprise. How are the Zootopians doing? Let's see. God, they're so far behind. 95 minutes behind, yeah. I mean, they will catch up some in... In upcoming sectors, but we can. I, I can definitely afford to do some short hops here to get some more orders done. The, the Zootopins continue to be pretty inept. Alright, now then. Oh, nice, there are two salvage opportunities. Perfect. So, this one first. another marine for this. Away mission underway. Crew report so that's order number two. Done. Then once the survey is back, I will reassign some marines to that shuttle and send it back out for order number three. Clean out this system of all the all the useful bits and bobs and carry on. Next system is a frozen system, so I can grab some more water there. Well, it's going fine so far. I think I know it was. Thank you. Okay. Like I said, hopefully we'll not get blasted by any asteroids. We'll see. Alright, uh, to order. Change my orders here. Continuing on. Keeping on, keeping on with this very exciting run. I'm sure you all are just absolutely enthralled at watching me watch my people mosey around the ship. Ooh, nice. 
nice. We're actually making enough water. And produce seems to more or less be keeping pace with demand. Definitely these last two rice, I think, will take care of it. Look at that spacecraft. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Well, this is enough for another uh, jump light device of some sort. Sweets. I guess we might as well just make another calibrator next jump when we have the opportunity. Um, yeah. Yeah. Waiting for that shuttle. There it is. How do we do? Success. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it. Very cool. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. crews are resting this jump all three orders available again what to do with them let's see first off go ahead and get this other jump light calibrator going one order dang it Then... Hmm, maybe... Maybe one more rice, one more water. Even though this is a pretty silly run, we still cannot, we cannot have asymmetrical, uh, <laughs> asymmetrical layouts. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignment. Okay, well there's orders two and three, which means we are speeding up. Find the next jump here. Yeah, just a quick hop to sea crops, that's right. Should be pretty simple. Need three more composites. To actually have on the ship, we can deconstruct things. Do we need a red alert for this? No. Jump out of here before the asteroids hit. Take the ship to jump light. Hold on, everyone. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the composites. We need three more to make the uh, the last jump light cartridge, I believe. And then, I mean, after that, it's kind of whatever. Um, and I, I could actually get those three things that are on the ship right now. That would take two orders, and, well, another salvage mission would also take two orders. So I might as well just do another salvage. Yeah, everything's fine. Why don't, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Why not? Survey. Oh, that's, that's very nice right there. There's 
one order. And as usual, I'm going to wait and see if we happen to have two salvage opportunities available. And if we do, I'll use the last two orders on those. Uh, if we don't, well, I'll figure something out for that final order. Maybe just one more water condenser. You finish out this rice. Might be smarter. <laughs> Cannot believe how much biomass we have just off of these four algae crops. It's kind of insane. Yeah, I should probably pick a destination, huh? Okay, great. Spacecraft for success. Let's go ahead and send out our salvage opportunity. Away mission underway. Crew, report to your assignments. Last order, I will do this final rice crop. Should really more or less take care of the food situation. Then it will just be water and crew needs, which I'm not too worried about. So let's speed on up. Just gonna watch this mission slowly complete. Maybe one more short hop would be nice. Let me see how the Zootopins are doing all the way back there. 91, so they've caught up very slightly. Not great, but... But, but, but... I think I can still afford the brief delay. So we will stick with short hop. Next system. Get ourselves just a few more orders to work with. Jump light in Maybe pick five, up a little bit more water. How our balance is great either. Might need to actually turn on that uh, that biomass reaction that we have saved. See if power drops any lower and make the call in. So, all right, let's see. Back to zero orders for this system. I'm going to go ahead and get my cartridge because I can. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignments. Pick up. I guess that was just one, uh, just one order to do that. Uh, let me, let me see. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add one more water condenser. And, you know, biomass reserves are okay for now, but it's never a bad idea to get ahead of them a little bit, so... One more water condenser and one more algae crop. That will hopefully get ahead of any issues that we might face. Yep, there we go. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignment. That should take care of it. Now then, port hop to the asteroid field coming up next. Then we're gonna have a long jump to the next system, so we'll have to actually defend ourselves there, I'm sure, against the asteroids. Now then, there's all three orders for this system, which means we wait. Let's 
just gonna sit here and watch my resource counters. A little bit low on metal, that's okay. Produce holding pretty steady. Water slowly trending down. Okay, we're ready to jump. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? <laughs> Power is holding Country. pretty much exactly even. Very nice. Initiate in five, four, three, two, one. Back to having all three orders available. Let's see. I'm gonna have a few minutes in this system. Beyond jump range. Alright, where is my, uh... Where's my calibrator? Or my cartridge? Oh, it's on its way. Just have to see where we can jump from here, I suppose. In the meantime, alright. What can I build that will actually be useful? Or what can I deconstruct that'll be useful? Let's see. Ooh, I know. I can finish out this corridor finally. expansion and two doors that's that's three orders right there there we go that was easy it's one minor inconvenience taken care of so our three orders Assume our cartridge is finished yet. I guess we can get to this one with a little bit less jump light. Harmonia, that sounds nice. starting to trend downward now. No surprise there. Food trending up, though. That's great. No asteroids yet. That's a pleasant surprise. Biomass more or less stable, but slowly trending down. That's fine. Metal trending downward, but with that corridor built, we now have good access to the manufacturing room. So that metal will not be a huge issue, fingers Jump crossed. In T minus five, four, three, two, one. Which means I think it might be recreation time next. Recreation and just absolutely blasting through these uh these final regions. So, alright, so we have our three orders available. Water's okay, power we can deal with more or less. Getting that graphical bug a lot as the, the tooltips stay up on the screen. Yeah, that's not too bad. I will go ahead and turn this generator on. So that we can keep our power topped off. Do not want to run out of power. That's the last thing I want to have happen. Um, water we're fine. These two were fine. Okay. So where does that leave me? Well, I guess with the uh, with what I just said, she is. Oh, no, 
This is maybe slightly cheesy. But, I mean, come on. It's still just one order, expanding this room out to cover all that. It just happens, it happens to be one order that accomplishes uh, quite a bit. Which is fine in my book. So, we'll get our engineers working on that, and then this can be a nice big rec room to make sure our crew stays happy for the foreseeable future. That was just one order. Um, let's see. With that just being one order, why don't I go ahead and expand out water and biomass again to make sure that that fuel burning reactor stays <laughs> burning fuel. That will be three. Which means we wait. Not for very long, because we are close to being able to jump again. Jump light, drive. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. field. It's okay. Jump through to that next system pretty quickly. Get that going. Now then. Our three orders available once again. This is all fine. Except maybe the water situation. Power is okay. Biomass produce are decent. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on this. I'm not gonna add anything to this room until the engineers finish working on it because I, I'm very worried about all those construction bugs. So instead, I'm gonna do this. Expand out my washroom. whole area. So we can add more sanitation facilities, except apparently in the process of doing that I deleted my power switch, so that's not great. I'll have to spend, uh, spend an action to rebuild that. I guess I probably deconstructed oxygen as well, so I, I guess that's all my orders, huh? Oh well. Orders given three. There we go. And we wait. We'll not have to wait too long. So our jump light is in uh, in good condition these days. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Watch this construction get done. Orders available. Next region, I'm going to drop that down to two, and then final region, I'll drop it down to one. I think that's reasonable given how smoothly everything's going so far. Let's see. There's no need for more composites or anything right now.
check on power. Make sure somebody's always on this. It seems like they're consistently using that nuke reactor, so that's fine. I don't have to prioritize this, though. Is somebody gonna build this? That will eventually get done, I think. So just prioritizing that reactor will be one order. And yeah, theoretically these two things will eventually get built, I hope. Suddenly we're completely full on power again, so that's nice. My last two orders in this system, I would love to uh, start adding a few things to this room, but before I can do that, I do need them to actually finish the floor. So once again, I do not want any bugs. Really, really... Don't want three bugs. Okay, there we go. Great. Gonna get a shift schedule. And... Let's see, why don't I... Yeah, card table's gonna be the most efficient thing to have in here. So... Drop that down, and then I'll start getting some double bits at a later date. Engineers to your assignment. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. All right, we issued our last two orders for that system right at the end, but now we're in a new one, so we're back to having all three available. Right. New tokens have theoretically slowed their advance. Let's see where they are. Alright, yeah, they're still 80 minutes behind. Not too terribly worried. Uh, Alright, where's our next system? I'm gonna start jumping ahead relatively quickly now, I think. Might be nice to get a security station for the, uh... For the final region, it's possible the Zootopen might be able to catch us, but well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. Uh, I might cash in some orders here in the next few systems, just to be able to do that. Let's see. I'm gonna get a. People really aren't having that many problems with isolation, but I will still get a second card table. And how about two double bucks? That'll be our three orders. Then, yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be one, one ugly room. That's okay. Engineers to your assignment. All right, there we go. I really doubt I'll have many issues with with the crew's needs after this. Probably add, you know, a shower or two, another wash basin, and something like that on the next jump. And then maybe work on that security room. Just to make sure there are no surprises down the road. Yep. Initiate jump light drive. Nice. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. All right. 
back to all orders available. Cool. Yep. Actually do what I said for once. Add two showers and one wash basin. And call it good. That's gonna be all three orders for this system, and that means I'm just going to pick my destination and mosey on. Be able to grab some water in this next system, that might be nice, just send out one shuttle there. Probably it's a fine spot for it. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it. Sequence initiate in five, four, three. go ahead and send out one water extraction because I can Security room. There's two and three. Ooh, might end up needing more metal. Engineers to your assignment. We can just power this. That'll be fine. Nobody is using this reactor. Oh, I guess because there's not um, storage space. Makes sense. It's not battery space for the power that we produce. Okay. It's done, but I don't have my ship back yet. go. 481 water. Jeez Jump Louise. Light in five, four, okay. Three, two, one. Man, this is going even better than I thought it would. Alright, back to having all three orders available. I wonder... We do not need to rebuild all destroyed here. I do 
that. That's two things going down. Then... Get my networked ordinance going as well. Yeah, I guess I'll only be able to afford the rapid fire upgrade, but that's fine. Right, let's make I'm gonna make sure they didn't change the the cost of this thing. No, they didn't. Okay. Alright. Secure server, network ordinance. Let's go. There we go. Alright, that is all three. Ooh, continuing on. Oh, God, that was gross. As always, ham never fails to disgust. Where am I going? Oh, nice. Initiate jump light drive. Jump light in five, four. back. Let's see. I should probably do uh, a survey and whatnot while I have the opportunity here. Because uh, once I start decreasing the orders I'm giving myself, well, the, the orders I have available, well... It's, it's going to get difficult or impossible to actually do these, um, these salvage missions. So, I'm going to cash in a couple of orders to do one, one or two while we have the chance. Which means we're waiting for that shuttle to get back before I give any more orders. Now then... If there is only one salvage available, I will da, 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 build my dependency unlock in that room there. And that will be my last order. And of course, if there are two salvage bit and salvage missions available, I will well use my last two orders on those. Available. It's a good one, though. Then that out. Okay, this game is really freezing up on me. Hang in there, JLO. We are not actually ready to jump. Thank you very much. All right, so. Given two orders, which means I can give one more. And that will be building my target designator, I or target array, I suppose. Yeah. That'll be fine. Should be totally fine. I guess I could have actually built the other one since I have a good, uh, good salvage mission coming in. Oh well. Did not totally think that through. That's okay. 
who gave the order. No take backsies. Nice. Metals being made. Peasy. And continuing on. Let's bring that star a little closer, shall we? Punch it. Sequence initiate in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's see. Okay on composites. Hmm. I'm going to skip one system and then probably send out one more salvage. Um, for right now, man, everything's going fine, sadly. to actually get uh, to get access to the rest of my the rest of my turrets so I can expand that all the way out carry that power up except no I can't never mind don't have enough metal that's all right in that case, we're going to carry on with, uh, with Plan A. Just get a bunch of rapid fire on these guns, and hope that that is going to be enough to hold off the, the suit opens. Uh, all right, that is my three orders. This system, I forgot to update the tracker, but hey, now it's uh, now it's accurate again. Jump to that nebula there, duck in there, uh, do one more salvage mission, see what we can get out of it, and then it will be on to the Black Eye. Cool. Speeding up. Take the ship to jump light. Hold on, everyone. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. All right. It's gonna be the 
last system where I allow myself three orders. Because we are changing regions. Come right up. So, I'm going to get my survey done while I have the chance. Away mission underway. Crew report to your Salvage assignment. whatever I can while I have the, the orders available to potentially cover two salvage missions. If that opportunity presents itself. Why do I have someone wounded? Be jumping right into a uh, black hole. Let's see. All right, just one salvage available. Not a great one, but hey, I'll take it. Away mission underway. Crew, report to your assignment. Go ahead and get that going, which means we have used two orders. Have one left available. it on. I know, dude. Might be good to, to get some more material. I guess this is going to be a good room, good room to get it from as well. Hanging out now. <sighs> Power's been easy, water's been easy, food's been easy. Obviously, metagel and ammo have never really been a major issue. We have run out of metal, which uh, isn't great. The, the, the availability of metal in the galaxy has really dropped off in this patch, but I mean... Uh, that would be an issue if we were trying to do anything cool, but uh, I'm not trying to do anything cool. I'm just sort of idling through the game. And so, you know, the, the lack of metal really, like, you know, this is the point where I would want to have a really cool build going on and be, uh, be finalizing all my big ambitious, uh, big ambitious construction projects. That lack of metal, uh, well, kind of prevents that. So once again, uh, unfortunately, I'm getting the feeling that uh, the whole ambition thing is being sort of disincentivized in this patch. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I still have to actually uh, get through this run. And I'll reserve judgment for then. All right. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we are coming into the black eye, I do believe. 
got ourselves a nebula right off the bat, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and gonna make as much forward progress with each jump as I possibly can. I was trying to trying to sneak and see which system is which, but uh, I'm just gonna roll with what I selected first. Oh yeah, what I was just saying about the the metal. <laughs> Complaining about metal shortages might seem kind of odd, because a, a hypothetical viewer might observe that I have not in fact been trying to collect metal, <laughs> so it makes sense that I would be out. Uh, but in the last patch, the salvage missions that I've been doing uh, also gave gave metal in addition to the other rewards. So the uh, the lack of that now it puts puts a little bit of a damper on, on certain builds. It's essentially what I was getting at there. All right, now what am I up to? All the resources are fine, except for metal. We don't really have much of a source for that right now. wonder if it's worth just spending the actions in this system, spending the orders in this system, to just send out another, uh, another shuttle for, uh, for more composites from the salvage. Honestly, yeah, might as well. As crazy as it seems, even with all these limited, all these limitations on my available actions, like I'm still totally fine resource management-wise. So we're just gonna do that. Don't need to add anything else uh, for power or water or produce. I don't need to add anything else for crew needs right now, so I'm just gonna grab some more composites to make sure that I can build the things I need to build later on. So, oh yeah, counter. Update that. I've given one order to send that mission out. Gonna wait for the results of that. And send out a salvage mission, potentially. Oops, I wanted to see how the Zootopians are doing. They are paused for the time being. Looks like because of the nebula. Okay, easy enough. Right. Salvage. Oh yeah, 15 composites. Heck yeah. Get that going. Oh right, no, they were not paused because of the nebula. They were, they were paused because I moved into a new region. Now let's see where they are. 75 minutes. Alright. Not bad. Speed it up. Update our order counter. And keep on keeping on. Really getting into the the part of the run where there's not too much to talk about. Hopefully our metal will keep slowly ticking up. Maybe to the point where we'll be able to uh, to power on the turrets on the lower deck. That would be absolutely lovely if we can make that happen. Don't really have many more goals beyond that. Would not be bad to get a couple of radar amplifiers now that I think about it. Perfect success. Love that. 
closer, shall we? Punch it. Sequence initiate in five, four, three, two, one. Let's see whether I've jumped into a black hole. Nope, it is an asteroid field. Cool. That's kind of what I thought from the name. This is actually an opportunity to grab some more metal quickly. Um, going to send the, the fast shuttle squad right back out. They will be unhappy. They might come back hurt or dead, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, that's a black hole. That's a beacon. I have to take a quick draw down to the beacon to see what's ahead. Let's do that. It's pretty close anyway. And while we charge up for that, might as well send out another resource extraction with a different crew assignment. There we go. That is two orders for this system. While that's happening, I will look around and see if there are any other... <laughs> anything I need to plan for next system. Well, the upcoming set of systems that kind of don't seem that way. We'll go to the beacon, see what's ahead, and uh, plan accordingly after that. Nice, got ourselves some material and metal. some more. Perfect. That's great. So next system I can actually make this connection here and start powering on these turrets. That would be nice. System, we know this one. Bibliss will be fine. Don't know about these two. At the very least, we can jump to Exilus and then Bibliss. Be a okay. Cool. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and expand this room. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and expand this room. Uh, I suppose out to here. And then add the door, and that will be all the available actions. Yep. Cool. And once again, I forgot to update my order tracker, but <laughs> now it is up to date. Look at these guys go. And they are they are so happy to be here. Look at them. <laughs> Look at these dudes. 
Nice. Even Euphora is joining the party. Okay. Come on. There we go. Initiate jump light drive. Jumping in T minus five, four, three, two, one. Down to zero. Orders given. I suppose I'll just go ahead and cash in both available orders by powering on a couple of turrets. That seems sensible enough. Both our orders. Easy peasy, moving on. So much biomass, it's insane. And produce too, look at it. Let's bring that star the amount we can make now way. off of just those two little rooms is nuts. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. The amount of power and water and biomass and produce that we can make with almost no production facilities is really insane. Alright. Once again, two orders are available. Hmm. I do not feel like going to Valora's Fury. I'm gonna bump down to Quan Di. Hopefully be able to shoot across to this system, which will hopefully not be a black hole. We'll see. That's the plan. And uh, what are we going to do? In order to help us not run into black holes, I'm going to go ahead and make two radars. Construction confirmed. Engineers to your assignment. And. Yep. Move on. Maybe if I have the time and orders and resources to spare, I'll even try making another one of the bridge consoles. A boost to up our jump light charging even more. Not sure if it's necessary, but I could give it a shot. Of course, coming up pretty soon, I'm going to be down to one order per system. So that may make it a little bit harder, but <laughs> probably not. Honestly, at flight. this point, we Hold could on. just coast. <laughs> I do not need to issue any orders at this point. I haven't Five, needed to issue any orders four, in three, a two, while. One. It's 
so I could just stop, I guess. Alright. Not a black hole coming up next. Very nice. And let's see. Maybe I will just stop giving orders. Which? Is there anything I need to do? Kind of don't think so. Hope is fine. Water and power are fine. Reduced biomass are more than fine. There are no issues to solve. The question is whether these Utopians have managed to catch up at all during the Black Eye. The answer is no. So, yeah, we don't need to do anything at all. Let's just fast forward through the rest of the game. I can just watch my crew members do their things. I'll, I'll try to keep you all a little bit entertained, at least. Oh, that's inter... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I wish I'd slowed down uh, a little bit quicker. Somebody just um, <laughs> zooming in sitting position down the corridors. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this is the biggest change that I've made on this ship, I believe. Everything else, more or less, have just been sticking with the default arrangements that they gave me. Almost exclusively just sticking with the default arrangement, taking minimal actions, and just cruising through the game. And it's gone absolutely perfectly. There have been, there have genuinely been no issues. You know, the, the game's performance, bug-wise, has been fine as well, which, you know, I, I, when this patch first came out, I was doing a, a more ambitious build with bigger construction projects all over the ship, you know, lots going on, and it was just bug after bug after bug. But it seems like in... I guess it kind of stands to reason that if I basically do nothing, no bugs will crop up. But it does seem like the game is really being optimized for these very, 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 very passive playstyles. The fraction world, easy peasy. Speeding on through. Oh yeah, we're in a new region now, edge space. I suppose that, technically, I am reducing my available orders down to one per system, but really I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to power through. Show you some cool scenery at least. There we go. Look at that. Look at that fractured world. Very nice. So I am pretty disappointed with how easy this was. Not gonna lie. Thought it would be at least a little bit more challenging, but man. And to be fair, this is a fairly easy scenario, but it is, I mean, it's the only, the only sort of uh, main story scenario available to people right now. Um, it is the default, and I gotta say, the, the default is laughably easy. That star a little closer, shall we? Punch it. Absolutely Jump insane how little you have to do five, to, four, to three, get through this run. Two, and 
how much how much easier the game is when you do less as opposed to doing more. Genuinely, uh, I had more issues in my previous run, uh, my sort of test run in this patch, where I was doing more uh, and not limiting my actions in any way. <laughs> Genuinely had way more issues when I was sort of free to act and ambitious, as opposed to here when I'm basically doing nothing. Black hole hearts change, that's cute. Go to the beacon instead. Hopefully, well, it's fine at this point. It's fine either way. Does not really matter what happens from here. I might be jinxing myself, but no. Still have 50 minutes on the zoo tokens. We can go through three black holes and still be fine. Yeah. This is pretty silly. This is pretty silly. To be fair, I have been slightly entertained during this run, so it's not all bad. Um, I could see, uh, I could see a new player being entertained. I don't think. I don't think it's realistic to think someone could reasonably lose uh, lose a run at this point. I mean, I'm sure it could happen, but with even just a basic grasp of how the game works, like, there's no way. Well, like I said, this run has mostly been with just the default, default stuff and the default layout the ship gives you. Why is the atmosphere critical? <laughs> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> He's uh... What happened here? Mm. The first real bug of the run, this person clipped through the floor on the upper deck uh, up on the promenade and has ended up uh, asphyxiating to death in this room. Alright. I will, I will cash in my one the action for this system to save this person. Jeez. So it's not totally bug free with the super passive playstyle, it's pretty close. having our one order available. Hopefully we'll not have to use it unless somebody else bugs out. Let's see. Is this a black hole? A ancient world, right me do not lock. <laughs> Interesting. We'll go take a look at the ancient world. I think those have been in the game before this patch. But this is the first one that I actually ended up jumping to. Love that description. So yeah, this will be one interesting thing that came out of this run, is, uh, is getting to see this ancient world. From there, it's probably just one jump to the Forever Star. That's cool.
Jump lights, drive. Jump light in five, four, three, two, one. So I guess we need to bump down to recess and then over. Yeah, that will get us there. Easy enough. Let's take a look at this ancient world, see if there's anything unique about it. Nope, it's just a barren world model. Unsurprising. With that, uh, with that write me, do not lock <laughs> a description. I'm not surprised that it is an incomplete asset in the game. Too bad. I was hoping it would be something interesting, but... Oh well. We're speeding on through. It will be interesting to see how much we beat the Zootopin by. They're gaining a little bit of ground. Not much. They might be within 40 minutes by the time we beat the game. interesting. You get the star map open, you hear the voices way more clearly in the background. <laughs> so y'all can enjoy that while we wait. Forever star. Let's see. I only have a minute. Let's think about what was actually essential here. Honestly, this probably was not, could have left all this the way it was. This did help with the isolation, but isolation was never a big issue to begin with. So, meh. Take it or leave it. Expanding this, again, nice, but not necessary. These two rooms were definitely necessary. Didn't need quite as many of, of either algae or rice. I could have done with one less of each, probably, but yeah. Overall, those two rooms necessary. This necessary, yeah, and I like the way I left this. Obviously did not need any of this. This was nice. I don't know if I necessarily needed this going or not, but it was nice. All of that stuff in the engine room really helped. These two just left as default. All this work, not necessary. So, man... I wonder how much of what I did that was was an actual contributor to beating the game. Or how many actions are actually essential to beat the game. Not many. I have to expand this room and build seven water condensers. I have to get... What is that? Six or five... Uh, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actions there, 13. Plus 7 is 20. Then all the shuttle missions to support it, and a couple odds and ends around the ship. Take the ship to jump light. Yeah, it doesn't take Hold much. On, Jumping in T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Well, there we are. That was incredibly easy. I probably could have started with uh, with two available actions in the first couple regions, bumped down to one, and then down to zero by the end, because that's really the the reality of how it worked out. Man. That is disappointing. It's genuinely disappointing that this is the direction the game is going in. It's, it's uh, again, this is not the only run I've done on this patch. I did a more complicated one too, and even playing my best with even a slightly more complicated build, like thinking outside the box, being a little bit ambitious, trying to trying to do something interesting and creative, that just felt so frustrating and prohibitive. But then this, basically doing nothing all game and just coasting to the Forever Star, it was so easy. It went so smoothly. Uh, I never felt the the constraints of my my limited orders. E even with how slowly I got my food and water going, like I never ran into any meaningful resource issues. Jeez, jeez. Well, at least this is only patch zero point two. There are plenty more of these quote-unquote major content updates to uh, more to come before we get to full release. And, well, hopefully that, uh, that difficulty will start to, start to trend back upwards again. Even independent of the difficulty, I hope that the game gets rebalanced in a way that actually rewards people for doing more than just... Uh, sitting and letting the ship fly itself to the Forever Star. Because, again, that was not even that interesting for me to play. And I'm sure it was not that interesting to watch. But uh, I could be wrong. And, you know, I, I could be in the minority here about uh, my feelings on the direction the game has, uh, has taken. So, uh, by all means... If you, for some reason, continue to watch me all the way through to this point, uh, despite the boredom of this run, number one, thank you. And number two, you know, please let me know if you agree with my take, uh, where you would like to see the game go, and how you feel about the patch. So I, I look forward to some, some lively discussions here, uh, and on Discord and on Steam as well. So, well, I will talk to you all then, and... In the meantime, this is Captain Snuggles signing off.